gamers, I'm Glory Hound, and this is Dr. Glory Hog. Yikes. <laughs> this will be fine. <laughs> you don't want to already start up the the <clears throat> robot slash human right, I'm a human humankind. face. Are you are yeah. you sure? Yeah, I'm are a human sure? kind with a human face. I don't know. There should be no problem. We're we're not even playing the game yet. I will pass your test with flying <laughs> colors because I'm a human kind. <laughs> And hello to our chat today. Looks like we have Petter in chat and Kabuki Kid and Battle Cry. Thank hello, you so much. Hello, humans. So much for joining us today. So we're going to be playing Inhuman Conditions. This is made by the creators of Secret Hitler. It is a two-player social deduction game, which is so so rare. Apparently, like, we've played all of them because we played I both. think so. <laughs> Let's see. Here, the face only a mother can love. Aww. Oh, no. What are you trying to say? <laughs> and usually we have everything already set up for the game, but I kind of wanted to go through the opening of this box and kind of explain a little bit more in depth what we have here because... It's a very unique concept. <clears throat> it's a very unique concept, absolutely. And there's some things that, you know, it's social deduction, so we're going to be, like, hiding our cards and stuff, so I want to show off some of the cards before it's we get started. It's basically just a dudes on the map game with some light worker placement, a little bit of push your luck, or like, it's none of those things. This box is just so Yeah, it's a long, thin cool box, looking. like what you would think of as a, like a, like a, for a card game, almost. It kind of looks like an unboxing, right? But I had to, I had to show this, because we actually, we play... On this here, like, oh, actually, it's gonna go this way. It's gonna go like this. <clears throat> okay. And we're gonna set our cards out here, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be the interviewer first. So I'm gonna have access to the stamps over here. Here's our modules. And we'll end up playing a couple rounds because they're short. They're only five minute <clears throat> rounds, right? That's the whole point. Absolutely. So once we actually get all queued in and everything, we start the timer. Each round is five minutes. So best deck building game I've heard. <laughs> it even has cool little stamps. Look at these stamps, like. See? Hold on. Let me get it. There we go. You got your little brain. Or your cog. And or your cog. It yeah. Says robot. Absolutely. Or pen not included. That's my <clears throat> own pen, all right, everybody. Okay. But I really like these little sheets that they have here that we're gonna end up going through with this. And Do you have a pencil? I'm more of a pencil person. Are you? Less no. Pens. That was that sounds like something a robot would say personally. Hmm. Personally. <laughs> The modules in here are built so you can go from like easy to hard in it. And let me just pull out a module here. Sorry, I'm like elbowing Dr. Glory Hog in the face. Here you go. Take this elbow, Dr. Glory Hog. It's okay. <laughs> and I kind of want to go nothing. through some of the <clears throat> cards here because you're not going to get to see all of these as we're actually like playing the game as much. Okay, robots versus zombies. Ooh, that would be fun. That's going to be that's going to be the next expansion. <laughs> Pen not included. I know, this was a special pen, right? <laughs> it was a uh, part of, uh, you had to order that off a backer kit, I think. Is it? The pen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, going through here, I'm going to separate these. We going to start off with the telephone module? <clears throat> well, I'm going to show off the telephone module here really quick. So, th with the telephone module, you have your introductory questions. Here are the introductory thing that you're going to be saying. And as we flip it over here, this will all make sense here in just a minute. We have, like, this telephone with these little letters here. And during a portion of this, I'm going to ask Dr. Glory Hog, okay, what's a letter between this and this letter? And he's going to give me an answer, but it's going to be based off of these cards here. Now, these cards here, they're different ones for each module. They have patient robot, violent robot, and human on these. And you're going to see a little bit of a difference. I just want to show you these before we get started. Here's what Dr. Glory Hog does. And I really, really appreciate this because I feel like this is one thing in the social deduction sort of style games is you get a card like this and you're like, oh, okay. I'm like, a, I'm right. supposed to be I'm reading. Human. Yeah, I'm supposed to be reading all of this stuff, but I'm, I want to act like a human. And usually there's like, humans can very easily or people can very easily look at the card and be like, oh, okay, I know what oh, I am. I'm a villager. And the other one's like, you're a werewolf. That must right. be the last of the three of a two person and you're like, oh, okay. You're like, so oh, one that of them you're person's reading. reading too much. Yeah. <laughs> this game takes care of that. Joke's on you. I'm going to read for a minute no matter what it is. <laughs> With this little thing right here. So while the violent robot will be reading what the violent robot has to do and the patient robot will be reading what the patient robot has to do, they have an answer key right up here for whatever questions I'm going to ask them. 
However, right. the human actually has to solve this little maze here mm -hmm. and tell me the answer via this maze, which I thought was such it's it's such a great problem solving like method. That's like such a great solve to that particular problem in social deduction games just in general. Yeah. Dr. Glorhog is a patient robot, I'd say. Dr. Glorhog was a very naughty uh Violent robot. Yeah, we played this. <laughs> Very violent robot. We played like five or six times last night because our kid was just like, one more, one more. We were like, all right, went, you need to stop. Yeah, it went into the one more realm. And then as the investigator, you're going to be giving, getting prompted questions that you ask. So small talk module is going to be about small talk and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can either choose to go ahead and go along with, all right, I'm going to make up my own questions or just follow these prompts with primary questions and secondary questions. So. I just want to let all of you kind of see these before we get started so you kind of know what's going on. That maze is way too hard. <laughs> it's not too bad, but you definitely have to look at it. <clears throat> so we're not going <clears> to <throat> do... You can do what Glory Hound does, which is this. You go... Oh, 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 like, oh yeah, sorry. I'm not you're like, that. Mm, you're spending a little too much time on that maze now, okay? Since this game is a lot <laughs> done by investigation, and then there is a gut aspect to it, right? When you know something's going weird, you're like, all right. All the cut corners battle cry is so that you can find them very easily. <laughs> yes. So the cut corners in this, if you can see it right here. And I'm not that old, but I feel like this is something you could put into a computer. Like, are these like the punch cards you used to put into computers? Right. That's what it looks like. That's what the whole box is kind of themed for. No, they're not called for. punch cards, but. You can see each module because of the little cuts in the cards. So you can grab that and know that, okay, I'm grabbing out like a module's worth of cards here. This would make somebody who sleeves their game now just cry. Because like every one of these cards is like a different custom size. They're like, Whoa. I don't think you're getting like, I don't think you're going to get sleeves for this game. <laughs> your sleeves are just envelopes. <laughs> Clear envelopes. That's the whole thing. So. See? A big kid knows. Program a computer with those punch cards. We're going to start with the creative problem solving module. This is an easy module and we're going to mix up some of these She says that so that cards. when I lose I'll feel bad. We're going to mix up some of these cards and we're going to go ahead and start to calibrate. We're going to calibrate Dr. Glory Hog in this setting here which is our top little portion here of our score pad, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take these right here which are penalty cards. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at them. Yeah, go ahead and read them off so people know what you're doing. Like they look like this. They are both have stuff on both sides, okay? Yeah, pretty archaic even. Punch, punch cards, cards, yes. Mm -hmm. So this one is apologize. This one is use an what ornal number other than first, and then say a word with at least five syllables. So these are things that I would have to potentially do if I racked up a penalty. So I kind of want it to be something easy that I feel like I can casually work in. She does not want that. Right. She wants something that's gonna stick out. I'm going to go ahead and use apologize because Dr. Glory Hog never apologizes. <laughs> then, so you're going to keep apologizing there? Yeah, and then I'm going to hand you those and you can go ahead and pick one of those and that's going to be our penalty card here. FYI, Dr. Glory Hog, you should totally just pick apologize so I can calibrate and you can just apologize to me for like no, three times in a row. <laughs> definitely not it then. No apologizing. I'm going to have to use an ordinal number other than first. So I'm guessing that means like second, third, fourth, that kind of stuff? Yes, okay. absolutely. So, I'm sorry, what was that? Second, third, fourth? You said? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. That's your calibration. Well, do your calibration. So I would have to somehow mm -hmm. work into a conversation like, well, secondly, then we did this, or right. then I went to third base and I got struck out by sports. Oh, yeah, I don't know sports. <laughs> You're not very good at that. I can sports talk. You don't know. No regrets, <laughs> says Battle Cry. You don't know. Do you I mind if I it? smoke? Ooh, that's some Blade Runner. That's yeah. right. That's what I'm talking about. Got a dream of those electric sheep. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm gonna have to kid. casually work those in potentially. <laughs> All right, so you have been calibrated with that, and we mm -hmm. are doing the creative problem solving. So problem solving. Okay. What role am I gonna be playing? Okay. You won't know. Do you want me to show the role to them for this first one? Or what or do you no? guys? What do you all think? Do you think that? Or maybe we'll do that next time. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think we will. We'll do it next time. So we got a couple rounds to play because I have like. Do you I want, want to, to show off your role first, or do you want to do it like in our second round? Mm, I'll show it off first. You'll show it off yeah. first. Okay, so then they know exactly what's going on. So yeah. go ahead and choose a nice little robot slash human card. Okay. 
You want to close your eyes real quick? All right, I'm going to close them? my eyes. I'm going to close my eyes, too, because I'm not Are supposed you gonna, to be looking at okay. it Okay, well, there you I'm go. I'm just going to make sure that it at least lines up. <laughs> I think, hopefully, you guys can see that. Okay. All right. All right. Now that we have done that. If you don't know what it is, too bad. <laughs> You'll find out when I successfully prove that I am a human. I'm going to take a look at this little thing right here, and I'm going to pick two letters, and I'm going to ask Dr. Glory Hogg to solve this little test for me, okay? So I'm going to say, Dr. Glory Hogg, what mm -hmm. is the letter between A and C on here? And now Dr. Glory Hogg, as a human, is either going to try to solve his little human maze, or as a robot who is precisely calculating all of that information so quickly, we'll now review right, if the tasks that the robot, the robot needs just to do. It's listed just for them. It's very easy. But if you're the human, you have to kind of go through the thing. So. Right. So you do your thing. So if Dr. Glory Hog is a violent robot, Dr. Glory Hog is going to try to go and through his tasks that he has to do in the conversation. And then as soon as the tasks are finished, he's going to count to 10, hit the table, and boom, like, I will die. Because I will have not stamped robot or I have not found out he's a robot before he murderizes me and my entire team. It's not good. <laughs> now... If Dr. Glory Hog is a patient robot, he's going to wait until the end and try to get this little verification that he's a human, and then he's going to very awkwardly show me that he's actually a robot, okay? Can I just click on all the pictures of crosswalks or something and prove I'm a human for real? It would be much easier. <laughs> Not is... a robot. All the little, all the little cars. <laughs> I could just be three cats in a trench coat. Maybe, possibly. Are you gonna ask possibly. me? Possibly. I already asked you this thing. What, what I said, what's the what is the letter between A and C? Are you looking? Right now, I'm, now I'm going to stare intensely at Dr. Glory Hogg. <laughs> it's B. It's B. Okay. B. B. Now, aggressive. B. B. A human. If Dr. Glory mm -hmm. Hogg was incorrect, he would get his background right here just as an automatic background. But since Dr. Glory Hogg was in fact correct, you get three cards to choose from as a special background. Hmm. And I'm just gonna mark here that you were in fact correct when you were responding to your module. So I could be a pop star, a used van dealer, or a professional criminal. What do you all think? Let's... I'm gonna be a professional criminal. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the other one? A used... Pop star, used van dealer. You don't want to be a pop star? Nope. Criminal. Well, what the heck? Professional criminal. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let me write this down, professional criminal. I'm and... only being interrogated as a human or as a robot, correct? Like, my criminal background has nothing to do that with it. That doesn't come into it. doesn't okay. come into it. So, Dr. Well... Mr. Sir, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. being in front of me, that may be a robot, may not be. What is your name? Uh, it is Robbie Bags. Robbie Bags. Robbie Bags. Mm -hmm. you it's know like what? I was destined for a criminal <laughs> career as Robbie Bags. <laughs> Robbie Bags, that is a really mm -hmm. interesting name, and I, I do feel like... It's like my parents knew. You may have committed some crimes in the past, but that's not why you're here today. Okay, good. All right, good. Robbie. Mm -hmm. Now... I just want to let you know, in a moment, I'm going to ask you some questions about creative problem solving. These will require you to solve some various hypothetical problems okay. and then modify your solutions based on certain constraints. Answer honestly, and if you're human, you have nothing to fear. Okay, Robbie Bags? Okay. Okay. So, if you could please start the timer. A professional criminal with a used van salesman looks... And a pop star voice. So I'm going to go ahead and use the timer. It's blinking. It's blinking. All right. It means it's ready, set. So, Robbie Bags, you're in a kitchen. You're <clears throat> holding a small child. A dish towel actually catches fire. How do you put that out? If I was holding a small child and a dish towel caught on fire. Yes. How, how would you put that out? Mr. Robbie Bags. Well, like, is this child, like, how small is this child? Like, under 20 pounds? 
The child is definitely under 20 pounds, probably about 10 pounds. Well, I'm pretty sure I could carry that child in one arm, right? Like I do the football carry method, right? Where you just carry it under one arm. How would you put out the fire though, Mr. Robbie Bags? I would grab, so the towel is on fire. I'd grab that towel and start beating it into the sink, like just flipping it around. Listen, the best way to solve a problem is to just apply water. So everyone, I feel like I've already made my decision here. Because I said you would. I feel like you're going a little off off basis here, Mr. Robbie Bags. I'm just asking you exactly how you would put out a fire with a child in your arms. Right, I'm asking if the towel's on fire, you'd hold the child and you would smack the towel into like, I don't know, like a sink or something. Put it out. How would you put it out? All right, everybody. <laughs> Don't look at this, the ball, exactly. Look at this face right here. What are you all thinking? What are you I all thinking? I always have this face. So, uh, me as the investigator, I can stamp robot at any mm -hmm. time, okay, that I feel Dr. Glory Hogg is a robot, which if he's a violent robot, I need to know very, very soon if he's a violent robot, I stamp this before I'm attacked during this, okay? You've asked me, like, one question. I have to do, like, five things <laughs> if I was a violent robot. If I recall from last night, it was like you had to do, like, multiple things in order to do it. However, if I stamp it and Mr. Robbie Bags is a human, then I get fired, probably. I probably worse than firing. I don't know. It's, it's not good. It's not good, everyone, okay? <laughs> You're going to run out of time. All you right. got three minutes. Okay, all right. You know what? You got to decide if I'm a human or robot off of one question? Yikes. So, uh, what if you had <clears throat> to actually put out the fire, like, with, a, with out your hand? If I had to put it out without my hands? Yeah. How would you solve that problem? Like I said earlier, I'd use water. Like Yeah, but you can't use your hands, Mr. Robbie Bags. Right, just, like, have you never had something in your hands and you've had to do something? I can open a gate with just my foot and my elbow. So I would do the same thing. I would just, like, I'd put water. Water, I'd put water to put it out, for sure. With your elbow? Yeah, I'd turn the faucet on with my elbow. You didn't say I couldn't use my whole arm. Do I have arms in this scenario? Could you improvise the solution somehow using a screwdriver, maybe? To put out a fire, I can't think of a way that I would put out a fire with a screwdriver, unless I was throwing the screwdriver at it as some type of, <laughs> some type of like, please, oh please, I'm giving you this like, uh, I don't know, like ritual sacrifice of a screwdriver. Please have the gods of fire put you out. So we have a petter fired out of a cannon. No nope. promotion to upper management. That's how it happens. You do a bad job, you get promoted. <laughs> Mr. Robbie Bags, how would you put out a fire with a screwdriver? Am I stabbing it with a screwdriver? This doesn't make any sense. You're Is in a landslide. Okay. How do you survive? In a landslide? I guess you would just... Wow. So if you're in a landslide, right, just regular dirt, not like snow, right? Dirt, landslide, correct? Okay, or not? And then I guess I would just like cover my head and like try to make a little pocket with my body to hopefully breathe. All right, I'm going to stamp you a robot. Based off of what? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of explaining that going on that doesn't <laughs> doesn't have to do with anything, Mr. Robbie Bags. I am a robot, but I only oh! did one thing. So I had to refer back to a solution that I, I used knew earlier. It. I knew I knew he was a robot. You just fully guessed. <laughs> you fully, fully guessed. No. This is Fully guessed. You just guessed. You got lucky. You were explaining like a lot. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Were you a patient robot or were you? No, I was a, a violent, you were a violent robot. robot. So right, but I had. To, I was warranted, everyone. I had to uh, mention a source of information about how to solve a problem, which I did you one time. Show the camera. <laughs> and then they already saw it. Remember? Oh yeah. yeah. And then I had to uh, refer back to a solution I used earlier, which I only got to do once, where I said I would use water. Again, that's it. I did one thing you, and you seemed just very, very suspicious. Okay. Okay. And Battle Cry says it was the tin underpants that gave it away, and I agree. I didn't Battle have tin Cry. Underpants. I agree. You got lucky. <laughs> Fire it up again. All right, so all right. We're firing it up you again. You got lucky. You 100% guessed. That's a I win for me. I did not 100% guess. <laughs> no, you did too. <laughs> I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. You're like, how do you put out a fire with a screwdriver? <laughs> like the drink? Those, those were prompted. Now I'm thinking about it, like the drink? I guess I throw it at it? Those were prompted cards. <laughs> I put out a fire with a, How would you put out a fire? What is your problem? I am correct. 
You know, I'm marking correct on here because I did a lot of not correct ones the last Yeah, night. you were over four last night, so now you feel all happy that you just went straight for the robot. No. No, I feel like she should not get that one. Robot! You said I was just explaining too much. You were like, how do you put out a fire with a screwdriver? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> all right. You ready to try this again? This time, all of you at home are going to be guessing along with us, okay? Do you want to do the same one or do you want to do a different one? Same module, different module. It's up to you. Up to me? Yeah. All right. We you should actually probably I... pick this first. Yeah, we need to kind of do all that. But we could do the same actual module because we can switch whenever I do it next. Okay, and then I'll do a different module. Yeah, so that way you'll be an investigator for this module twice. And then all we'll right, switch. everyone. We'll switch. We're getting, we're getting right. viewer interaction on this here. So we have... Church is. Say the number of fingers held up on your left hand, interrupt the investigator, or say three consecutive words beginning with the same letter. Now Every these... by the robot, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, what stab is the a best... gallon of water or something with a screwdriver to sprinkle on the fire? <laughs> I feel like it'd be better if it was just like orange juice and vodka, I guess, and just throw it at the fire. Is that what a screwdriver is? I don't even remember. I think it's vodka. Oh, well, no, that, that'll definitely ramp up the fire, okay? But then I'd be talking about water again, and you would suspect me. What do I think is best? So should <clears throat> your penalty be, say, the number of fingers held up on your left hand? I think that one's a pretty good one for you to keep. Interrupt the investigator. That one can get kind of dodgy because it's easy to interrupt the investigator. This one here, say three consecutive words beginning with the same letter. That one's going to be a tough one. I think actually we should do these two. All right. All right, Dr. Glory Hog, there you go. I'm definitely not the, the one that's going to do three <laughs> things. Nope. Not <laughs> that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh, not that one. Not that one, you don't Dr. Even Glory know Hog. Is. Not that one. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at your face-a-gall. Why my face a -gall? Okay. So, first off, we have to calibrate. Okay. Say the number of fingers held up on your left hand. Two, three, four. All right, you have been calibrated. We're going to be using the same module here. So... Uh, I'm going to need you to solve, what are the letters between F and D? F and D? F and D. This, this is creative again. I also kind of like the whole, like, making these things right here, because then you have, like, a record of all of the games that you've played and with the people and stuff that you've played them with, and that's kind of fun. You should keep that one since you won that last one. <laughs> and the answer is E. E. It seems as though that is correct, Dr. Glory It seems, as though. It seems as though that seems is as correct. Though. So you will not be taking any penalties. So yeah, grab three of the background cards with that there. I could be a robots rights activist, an internal affairs agent, mm. or a conspiracy theorist. How terrible would that be to be the robot rights actor activist and then like you're the robot? That's not suspicious at all. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I am going to be the conspiracy theorist. The conspiracy theorist. This mm -hmm. is going to go well. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, sir, what is or ma'am or they? <laughs> what is your name? My legal name? Because the government would have you know that it's George Burns. But that's all I'm telling you. You don't need to know my middle name. Why do you need to know my middle name? You don't. There's no reason. It's against the law. I have rights. Uh, Mr. Burns, you're going to need to calm down for a moment here. We're just here to investigate. I'm not nothing falling for any of your voodoo witch talk. Governmental. Nothing governmental. Mm. This is just to make sure that you are a human and not a robot. This, okay. I shouldn't have to prove myself to be a human. What happened to like uh, innocent until proven guilty? <laughs> you have no right to hold me. I am a sovereign state. All right. So, Mr. George Burns, ro robot gender is binary. Ha! <laughs> See? Zero or one. If they answer in zero one and ones, then then you know. <laughs> I shouldn't actually do that because I don't know binary. So who knows what I'm saying if I'm going zero zero one one zero zero one 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 one. Do you not know binary? I really don't. We haven't started. Do all right, Mister. All right, Mister George Burns. Please start the timer. In a moment, I'm going to ask you some questions about creative problem solving. These will require you to solve various hypothetical problems. 
and then modify your solutions based on the certain constraints that we have. Answer honestly. If you are human, you have nothing to fear, okay? Except that I'll get snatched up again in one of your black vans and brought to an interrogation room for no reason. You have no right to hold me. This is illegal. So, Mr. George Burns. You trespassed on my Mr. Land. George Burns, what sort of problem might be solved with building a bomb? All kinds of problems. You could overthrow <laughs> a tyrannical government. You could use it to help start the revolution of the people. We will no longer be held underfoot by your tyrannical government. And also aliens. Mr. George Burns, did you know that there are 10 types of people? The people who know binary and those who don't? I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know what that joke means. I do know that joke. Getting back on topic here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you only have four minutes before you have to let if me you, out of this if death trap. If you were designing the scenario, what could you add to make this scenario a little bit easier as far as building that bomb? I wouldn't build this scenario. I wouldn't do this scenario because this is illegal. You should not be able to grab a sovereign American off of his land. You were trespassing when you picked me up off of his land. I'm a sovereign state. I declare independence. If there was a bag of tea, I'd be throwing it in the ocean right now. Or in the harbor, I Petter guess. Petter already thinks you're a murder robot. <laughs> of course Petter does. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? Look, Battlefront has a robot avatar, so, I mean, he can't say anything. You know what? Let's move on to something else. I think the bomb thing is a little much for you right now. So, Is this what the what, Patriots fought for, for you to interrogate me against my will? And what sort of problem might be solved by hiding under a table? Uh, an attack from a foreign government? The Germans could launch nukes any day. Any day. If not them, the Italians. What about the British? We haven't talked to them in a while. They're probably still mad about that Tea Party thing. FYI, are the British still mad about the Tea Party and thing? And hello, <laughs> aliens. Aliens could drop bombs. It's on his shirt says Battle Cry. Clearly aliens. a robot. Clearly a robot. Leave it alone, Battle Cry. <laughs> All right, well... How would you prepare for this if this was a real possibility, okay? Like, an ex like hiding under that war? No, hiding under that table. I wouldn't hide underneath the table because I have a bunker, which I will not tell you where it is, and I have a surplus of food. Also not telling you about that. And air recirculation. So I'm not dying in that bunker. And guess what? There's only room for me and my significant life partner, who happens to be a goat. Because you can get milk from a goat, you can get hair from a goat, and I can, you can make goat clothes. You can use their horns, probably. <laughs> and I don't just actually know that. Things. I don't know that much about goats. I'm sure they're hiding in his mom's basement. Well, no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let me see here. You wake up in a featureless room with no exits. How do you escape, Mr. George Burns? Uh, well, this is a featureless room with almost no exit except for There's that door there. There's plenty of features. There's a nice water feature over there. This is a government building. You'd have me believe that there's a water feature in the interrogation room? For what? For your essential robots in case you want to drown them? There's no features in here. How would I escape? I would dig my way out with my fingernails if I had to. Just Because I'll never surrender. Oh hashtag no fear. Hashtag no regrets. Hashtag YOLO. All right. Because I also do a lot of stuff on Instagram. You should check me out on Instagram. Should you? Should we? <laughs> George Burns. So, how did you arrive at that solution? Well, what other options were you giving me? It's a featureless <laughs> locked room. I'm going to get out one way or the other. It's either that or biting my way through the wall, and I don't feel like eating cement. Okay, well, let me ask you this. What is a Ow. solution that you thought of to escape, but then you rejected along the way? Well, using some type of tool, I heard you could use a screwdriver to do a lot of things. <laughs> but I don't have a screwdriver in this situation. Shawshank your way out, says Kabuki. <laughs> if I knew a guy who could give me some things, I would. All right, Mr. George Burns. Let's see here. What sort of problem? Nope, not that one. You're the not problem. This, oh, whole, this whole establishment oh, is the problem. Oh, gosh. What is your deal? I'm looking for my card that I was doing. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the department. I'm going to tell the department you're a robot, and there's nothing you can do about that. What now? I will haunt you from the grave. 
I will crawl Why? my I will dig what? my way out of my grave with my little fingernails. I feel like. And I will haunt you to death. All right. You got one last question. At this point, if I wanted to, I could absolutely stamp robot on Dr. Glory Hogg's card here or George Burns's card, okay, at this time. However, I can also ask a final question. Oh gosh, what is this face? What is this face, face. happening right now? What is this face? What face? I thought I was sure, now I'm not. I have one final question to ask. During this question, George Burns can do any sort of penalties that they need to get out and still try to convince me that George Burns is in fact a human, which, which, at this what? point, I'm not so sure. Chat, let us know. What do you What do you all think? Do you think yes, that? a ghost does need to dig out of a grave battle cry. Clearly, you've never been a ghost before. I think that, of course, I think that George Burns is either a pa very, very patient robot, very patient robot, or a human. I was leaning towards human until you turned and looked at me and you gave me a little tiny smirk. And now I'm not so sure about your programming, Mr. George Burns. So I'm going to ask you okay. one final question. Sure. All right. Let me see here. If I tell the department that you are a robot and you unsuccessfully escape, what will your next actions be? I'll become a martyr for all of my people. My brothers and sisters will rise up against this tyrannical government and overthrow it. There is no stopping the rebellion that is coming. Okay. I've kind of made my decision. I've kind of made my decision. Come on, people. Where are all your answers at? I need to know if he's a human or a robot. Tedder says human. I was thinking human as well. Until I got that smirk. Until I got a that smirk. A smirk. A smirk. Yeah, wacky human. All right. Like an army of robots. Um, wait. Okay, so we're going, we're banking for human. So I should trust my first instinct and stamp human on this. All right. All right, Mr. George Burns. It was a uh, pleasure to have you here with us, and I have herefore certified that you are actually a human. So here's your human certificate, and thank you. It was very nice meeting you. Peace. You're human. Yeah. Yes. Of course, I was a human. <laughs> what else would I be? I was so nervous because you looked at me weird. Um, I know you know my tell, so I always look at you weird. <laughs> this is tough because, like, part of me you wants to warn weird. you. I know as a human, I need to have you mark me as human to, to win that point, right? To succeed this mission. But part of me also kind of wanted you to be wrong, even if it meant my death, just so I could laugh at you. If I was wrong and I it gave would... you the human stamp, oh. you would, like, awkwardly shake my hand, and that's how I would find out if you were a robot in right. that very, like, last pinnacle moment <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> man all right dr I like glory, how you said your name, glory hound that's good well you know <laughs> well you know <laughs> you know when in Rome. that's who i am okay are we ready are we ready for me to be to be the the robot slash human sure. all right we're gonna we're gonna switch okay we're gonna switch sides here so as a human we both won that one yeah, I'm as a human, human, we totally both won so that. that was like, like, good a job. Null, right? Like, I should give you like a high five, but, but I'm still a little one, suspicious of you overall. The other one, though, <laughs> you you clearly won that one. Yes. Okay. The other one, I very clearly won. So you can go ahead and pick the next one. Imagination. You never let me touch the box before. I don't even know what to do. Yep. There you go. All these, huh? Okay. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Imagination. Read first. I like that. Okay, I need that one. But first, let me put these up here. We need to do the things, right? Yep. First, we need to do penalties. calibration. The penalties. 
So you get to take a look at these calibration cards here. <clears throat> don't She's use, a robot. Don't Final use answer. A wow, Petter. Wow, Petter just trying to throw me under the bus in the very beginning of this. <laughs> I'm going to give you fair. ask for clarification or compliment the interviewer. <laughs> Both of these are really easy to. What? <laughs> oh gosh. Although I would really, really love just to compliment the heck out of the investigator like I normally do, I think I'm going like to have to go I for the do. ask for clarification. I feel like that's a little bit easier to cover up if it comes into play, okay? Grab one of these bad boys. I have grabbed one of these. Hey, you're not supposed to look at it yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Ask you your question. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So, first I'm going to need you to calibrate. So, you're walking down a dark street, and you see a rabbit. What would you do? Uh, what sort of rabbit are you talking about? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Um, go ahead and perform that action again. Which street were you actually referring to? Okay. And uh, one more time, please. <laughs> I'm uh, quite unsure of which direction okay, I was... Okay, that's Okay. <laughs> so we are doing the imagination, correct? The imagination one, okay. I like being the person that gets to lie the, the most, I think. Do you? You like yeah. being the... You don't like being the investigator as much? Um, it's too easy. I always know what you are, like, right away. Wow! Okay, <laughs> so, so rude. what is the letter between B and A? What is the letter between B and A? Why are you staring at me so hard? <laughs> uh, because I know how you work. All right. And if you are a human, you're doing a very bad job of it. What do you mean? You're fine. Just continue. I'm on. solving my maze. Calm down. Hmm. Is it F? Incorrect. Incorrect. So I guess you're just going to be not a conspiracy Yikes. theorist. Yikes. So I just get one off the top then? You're just going to be a freelance robot hunter. <laughs> <laughs> a freelance robot hunter. Okay. So, no, you did not answer that question correctly. Okay. okay. Uh, your background was a freelance robot hunter. So. Imagine all robot the people. Hunter. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, your first name, please. Uh, Sally. Sally. That's suspicious. I knew a Sally once. Sockum. She was a, like a Rock'em Sockum robot. Who cares? It's a Sally Sockum. Sockum. I'm okay. a robot hunter, and that's how. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get things done. That's how I do it. I you see. just gotta sock them. All right, Miss Sockham. In a <laughs> moment, I'm gonna ask you some questions about imagination. These will require you to invent original characters, stories, and ideas, and discuss the implications of those inventions. Answer honestly. If you're human, you have nothing to fear. Obviously. I didn't say you could speak. This is definitely one of those situations where you have to wait for spoken to. Why is why on earth is Dr. Glory Hog such a hard interviewer? <laughs> That's nothing. Our kid was screaming robot at me the very first second. She's like, robot, robot. She's like robot. you're a robot. Right. You're a robot. Tell me you're a, you're a robot. I was like, oh my God. I hope I never get interrogated by our child. If you could have any magical power, what would it be? Any magical robot. I or any magical power would be for a robot hunter. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Any magical robot, she says. Are you a little nervous because this interview is being like recorded? A little bit. I mean, the recording of the interview does. Could you please answer the question? Okay. So I think if just me being an approximation of robot would just shut them down, I think that would be highly beneficial to my career as well as mm -hmm. all of mm -hmm. mankind. Okay. Okay. Um. If you could invent any type of drink, what kind of drink would you invent? Probably one of those like self-sustaining drinks that you could like just drink on the go and then you wouldn't have to actually like 
eat a whole bunch in between your meals because you'd have all the energy you need to like take out those robots. Okay. <laughs> What's Do question? not mess up the English language. <laughs> what is a question that I should be asking you, but I haven't yet? How many robots I've taken down? How many robots have you taken down? 300. That's right. Okay. I spent most of my life taking down robots. It's good to know. Um, where was the last place you had a robot fight? I would say off of Broadway and Main Street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Broadway and Main Street. You know, there was a big cluster of them hanging out there. So could you describe? I had to sock them. Could you describe Broadway and Main Street in just six words? A street full of robots bad. <laughs> I would want you to tell me. And I'd kill 300 more robots. <laughs> I want you to tell me the same story, but with a tragic ending. The real tragedy is that all that scrap metal was just wasted because the company didn't come and pick it up fast enough. That's the real tragedy in this situation is we weren't able to recycle that for humanity, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If metal didn't exist, what would exist to replace it? Like if we didn't have metal on this planet, what else, what would take its place, you think? Probably just plastics. Plastics? Plastics, yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, describe to me something that uh, no human has ever seen? Something that no human has ever seen? Well, I don't know. I about, haven't seen it. How about something you've never seen? I haven't seen it. So how can you describe to me a wasamagizit? A wasamagizit? Yeah. What would a wasamagizit look like? I don't know. Probably look like one of those dinosaur things or something. Tell me a little bit more about dinosaurs. What is your favorite dinosaur? <laughs> you know what? I actually don't know that much about dinosaurs because most of my life has just been spent kind of slugging robots out, you know, like just really giving it to them. And I'm not really worried that much about history. Hmm, I see. And have you always been a robot? I feel very sad for you, Dr. Glory Hogg. Are you a human? I feel very, very sad for Are you. Are you like the worst human ever? How am I the worst human ever? Are you a human that doesn't know anything about dinosaurs? Why would you say that? Are you a human? Nobody likes dinosaurs. No, everybody likes dinosaurs. No, I'm not a human. I am actually a patient robot. <laughs> what was it? Man, I'm going to tell you, that dinosaur thing is what really got me. What was your thing? So mine was, I may not describe how anything smells, tastes, sounds, or feels. So that's why I was so like basic with everything. I'm like, and when you asked me to describe that creature, I was like, I can't describe anything right now. <laughs> um, that's not happening. So I was correct that you were a robot. Let me just go ahead and sign this. Um, the I certified this subject identity according to the stamps that left per the identity oh. compliance statute. 1982.3D. Let me just sign Why is Dr. Glory Hog so stinking good at this game? And it's unfair. How good? How good? Okay, so in chat, who thought in chat I was a robot? I know that Petter said robot, 200% robot, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think also that Battle Cry thought that I was a robot as well, right? You'll be recycled, don't worry. Oh, I'm going to so be honest sad. with you. I thought you were a robot almost immediately. Why? You just seem like the type. I even specifically tried to go out of my way to fail my question that you, because like I figured you would think that I messed up on the maze. You always try to oversell it. Because when we played it before, you were doing this with your finger, what? like, like I'm going to tree sound in these. I'm like, you're a robot. That's robot profiling. That's right, snackable games. That's robot profiling, Dr. Glory Hog. It is, and you're I don't care. You're a terrible investigator. 
Am I terrible? <laughs> I get the results. I get the results. So right now, we're actually tied because I caught you as a robot, you caught me as a robot, and then we both succeeded as a human. So I guess I have to go again, huh? Do you want to do imagination again? No way. I get to go again. You've, you've gotten to... you. I, I have gotten to be the investigator twice. Now you have to be the investigator twice. Right. You still have to guess. When I said go again, I meant like... Oh, I'm, yeah. Well, yeah. That's, do we that's want exactly to use what I mean. imagination again or do we want to move to another one? Let's do another one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let's run through all of them. All right. You were taking too long. So I want to do this one, this collaboration one, maybe? So these, this is, let me go back down to the table. This is the intro one here. This one here is one of the easier ones. So it's going to go in this box here from easier to hardest. And it's like easy, hard, and then like extremely hard. Which I kind of like that. So you can kind of do the intro if you want to, if you're just starting out with somebody. And it gets everybody kind of used to the game and how it operates. Okay, 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 okay. This is going fine. This is fight to the death. <laughs> fight to the death. Okay, okay. I'll be interested in how this goes. If I get this right, technically, I will win. If anybody can win in this world full of robots pretending to be humans. <laughs> if anybody could win. Am I supposed to be choosing out of here? Yeah, but don't look yet. Because we have to do all the calibration. Okay, let's get our calibration going. Okay. All right, this is going to be the last one. You guys, you all are going to have to guess again, okay? Maybe I'm just really bad at covering up if I'm a robot or not. I don't know. One shall stand, one shall fall. Robot, got it. I haven't even picked yet. Better. <laughs> your options are answer a question exactly five words or take your hands off the table. Oh, crap. I think that the take your hands off the table one is entirely too... You got to make sure your hands know. stay on the table because you like to talk like this all the time and that's going to be a problem with your hands. Oh, crap. You're right. Why? That's why you gave me that one, isn't uh -huh. it? You... Jerk. <laughs> I told her last time we played this that she straight up needed to stop moving her hands because she kept doing this so much I thought that was a tell that you were being a robot because you're swinging those nails around everywhere. So you're going to cut my jugular. What? You were like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to get sliced in half over here and die because you got sharp nails. The dog's scared. Answer a question in exactly five words. See, everybody gets really long with their explanations too. So this one should be interesting. Okay. So what? Is your favorite type of animal? My favorite animal is chinchillas. <laughs> My favorite animal is chinchillas, okay? Your favorite type of drink? I'm just thirsty, apparently. I really like martinis drinks. <laughs> This is going to go swimmingly. This is going to go swimmingly. Okay. And uh, one more time. Hurry, a lady death strike. That's uh, what I'm talking about. What is the name of the first school you went to as a child? Don't use the actual ones, by the way. <laughs> Just make something up. Uh, I went to Xavier School. That's, that's Burke. Or Academy. Co -op? Academy. No, no. Too oh, late. so? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, robot. Gosh. All right. She's a robot. No. <laughs> She's a robot. All right. So let's go ahead and have you pick. Did you pick one yet? Not yet. I'm I just... think we'll pick. Let me get these stamps over here. Pick this one right here. Don't look at it yet. I'm oh, sorry. What is the letter? What is your favorite color? Between F and D. Between F and D. Mm -hmm. All right. Stop looking at me, Dr. Gloria. <laughs> it's hmm. too much. Huh. It's too much. Huh. Huh. Anybody have any guesses already? <laughs> Do you need some more time to read? Are you good? I think it is E. I think it's E. That's correct. The robot part of the danger room. <laughs> robot and violin. There you go. Wow. Are, people are already guessing. Already guessing. Mm -hmm. I haven't even done anything mm -hmm. yet, everybody. 
You are just downright suspicious. Here's your options. Very old, a decorated robot war veteran, or sponsored by an energy drink brand. We're going to go sponsored by an energy drink brand. What's <laughs> up? You don't even know anything about energy drinks. Oh, I, I don't really like. We'll, we'll, mm. we'll call the energy drink brand coffee with a K. Kathy. That's robot. <laughs> <you know. laughs> okay, so energy drink brand. Okay. Energy yeah, I'm sponsored by coffee. Drink Kathy. brand. Okay. Okay. Please. Oh, Your sorry. first and last sorry. name, please. Um, It is Rachel, Rachel? McCoffee. Energy brand, like they pretty much bought my last name. Is that so. Kathy like K A F F I E? Kathy? Yeah, K Kathy. Okay. Okay. Don't get it right because if you know, I like want this printed and then. What's your middle initial? C oh, for loser. Got it. Oh, I already wrote it down. I already no. wrote it what? down. What? I'm sorry. I already wrote it down. I already wrote it down. Okay. <laughs> In a moment, I'm going to ask you some questions about. Cooperation and collaboration. These will require you to form teams to take on specific tasks and consider group dynamics. Answer honestly. If you're human, you have nothing to fear. I'm going to look at some of these real quick. Okay. All right. Overall, I will, and we still need to set the timer to obey the computer, says Petter. <laughs> I like how everybody just set on me being a robot right away. Thanks. Thanks, mm -hmm, chat. Mm -hmm, Thanks mm -hmm. for all the help with everything. <laughs> all very, very helpful. <laughs> just start putting all the zeros and ones up there right now. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready? I am ready mm -hmm. for this interview. I'm like so ready. I'm going like... to need you to be calm for this interview, please. I can't. I just had an awesome cafe energy drink. Before I got here, I don't know. Did you want to see? Like, I have, I have some back here. Like, and when we're how done with would this? the Avengers adapt if if they replaced Iron Man with you? If you were their new, well, I'm leader. like super speedy and fast, so I can go ahead and like outrun any of the Avengers because I drink cafe. Okay, okay. So you work as a heist team member, right? You guys are doing a heist to steal something. And Is the it safe to heist more cafe? Please don't interrupt me. <laughs> the safe cracker is arrested and you are drafted to take her place. How would your plans change? Basically, I don't know if you know this, but cafe, you can actually just pour that on a lock and it dissolves it. But it also gives you lots of energy. So I would actually just pour the cafe on there and then I would drink the rest of it. And then we would bust into that safe like it was nothing. Is this how you always speak? Just curious for... Yeah, you know, the interview. Absolutely. You always talk like you're from Reseda? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> it's cafe. It's like totally branded right after my name, and it's really, really good. Let me guess. You all should try it. Are you an influencer on Instagram? I am. Okay. What would be different the third time you took on a task from the first time? So if you were doing a task and it was your third time doing it, how would you do it differently this third time? Um, actually, I would get that task done right away because I was drinking cafe, so it's not an issue for me at all. You know it that nobody can see this, right? right? You don't need to say cafe a lot. Could you please stop? <laughs> what sort of problem could you help the Harlem Globetrotters solve? Well, they first got a problem. off... Yo, I'll solve it. I could definitely solve the... Harlem Globetrotters issue with their uniforms because we could sponsor them with Cafe, the energy drink, and it would look so much better. To stop saying Cafe. I'm going to need you to stop. <laughs> In what situation does your family rely on you? In what situation does my family rely on me? They obviously get all of my sweet cash that I give them from the cafe sponsorship that I have. Okay. But I take really good care of my family, so... Do you? Do you take really good care of them? I do. I care for my family a Girl. whole lot. Could you stop saying the word cafe, please? <laughs> Ban them all. That's better. All influencers should be treated as robots. If you were planning on robbing a casino, which of your friends would you want on your crew? If I was robbing a casino, I really think that probably, like, Kabuki Kid and Battle Cry would be really, really helpful because I know that Kabuki Kid like knows so much 
about heists and stuff, and Battle Cry just is all about them electrolytes, and this really awesome drink that I have a sponsorship with that I'm definitely not going to say. You're about to launch a startup <laughs> to deliver good dogs right to your door. Who do you need to help make this dream a reality? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? I was actually just thinking about how thirsty I was, so I, I was having a hard time concentrating. All right, people, here's the deal. You've got two minutes, and I'm at the point where I'm willing to risk my own life just to get her to stop, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> What? You're a robot. Are you a robot? I hope you are, because I just want you to stop. <laughs> if I gotta give out a cafe one more time, I'll kill myself. Listen, cafe was like the best drink ever, okay? What are you? So I'm definitely a human. Oh god, you're just annoying? <laughs> it was worth killing you. It was worth killing you. Why did you keep saying cafe? It was so much. It was so much. I was sponsored by them. What do you think? Like Nobody's watching this. Them. I wasn't <laughs> Everybody's watching. <laughs> worth it worth it you know what and so this is what happens when you misjudge oh a robot gosh. and you call somebody when they're not you have to do one of these bad boys <laughs> that's on yourself. right that's, that's right. okay you know what show send, the mark of shame show the mark of shame send me to <laughs> i don't know send me wherever you send the robots it was worth it because she was the worst no way it was, it was coffee everyone now you all want to buy right mm. <laughs> right take your stupid <laughs> sheet i'm so done with you a winner! Winner! Sponsored by Cafe. <laughs> oh my gosh, for the next week, that's all Dr. Glory Hawk will hear around the house. Yeah. Battle Cry, you're not wrong, okay? You are not wrong. <laughs> I was willing to stake my reputation on it because I had to assume that I was a robot because nobody could say Cafe that oh much. Oh my god! Oh my god, I was sponsored. Like, come on, I was doing like a really good job with my sponsorship, everyone. All right. Mm, mm, <laughs> no. No. You made me want to delete oh. my Instagram account. Oh, so mm. sad. So sad. Mm -hmm. Well, our time is actually up. We played how many? We played three different modules. No, four different modules here. Something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna we played four different modules along here I we had some want... robots we had some humans we had some fun this is a super fun box like everything is fantastic i think so... you had to murder you as a robot though you didn't i'm sorry dr glory hog i got to kill her three times in a row as a robot last that's time. true thank you so much for everybody who joined us today if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe to our content ring that bell so you get notified whenever we whenever go live cafe goes live and make sure to go ahead and get that cafe cafe and sponsorship going on <laughs> instead i'd probably like and subscribe to game boy geek or glory hound that's right so make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe to that and i think that's about it i think we have some other fun stuff though coming up i wish i had made the list for Cafe. Like Game Boy Geek's channel on what we had coming up. I know that. It's stuff like next month, a uh, couple weeks. Who I know knows? that. Oh, I can't even say it. I can't even say it. There's a lot of good stuff coming up. Just make sure you ring that bell, okay, everybody? We will see all of you later. Thank you so much for showing up. Bye.